Yo, Dark Star back with another video. You can see what the title is. I know what we're doing today. This is, I think, this might be the first time I've done this. Uh, I made a tier list video, but this might be my first top 10. I didn't even think about that before I started recording. Wow. Okay. Uh, so okay. My first top 10. Um, this is my top 10 units in the game. Um, my personal list. It could be biased. could be wrong. Um, reason. Ah, damn, I should have closed my door. That beep is going to be annoying a little bit. Well, it's already annoying. But it might be biased. The reason being is I can't really get rid of my bias. For a whole month, I play with Roger and Odin. Um, so some characters might be high. Some char characters might be low. Um, the reason I played a whole month of Roger and Odin because I thought we were going to get Kobe for free with those Admiral. I mean... Those, uh, what's it called? Those Navy coins that they gave us for, from boss battle. I thought we were going to get for free Kobe. So, I grinded League and I grinded uh, boss battle. We didn't get free Kobe. We actually got very trash rewards. It's actually insane how bad they were. But, I'm talking too long. I'm rambling too much. Let's just get to the top 10. Uh, this video is not going to be super edited. We're not going to show any gameplay or anything. You guys know how these units work. But, like I said... I have a little bit of bias, maybe. I think, maybe. Okay? Like I said, I used Roger and Odin for a whole month. My team right now is consisting of Kobe and pretty much any other any other unit. So, it's not... I, I, I'm not like an EX fanatic. Uh, you can see my EXs are up up there, but you can see all the other characters I have. Marco, I really don't mean Marco. We, we all know how I feel about Marco. But, it is what it is. I talked a little bit about it in my stream my last stream so yeah but I made some changes maybe for real ho really what what even is that uh, for okay Okay, they're mowing the lawn. Uh, fuck, man. I don't even know how we, I don't know how much you guys can hear, but let's just get to it. Number one on my list is number one on my list is Akainu. Akainu just came out, but it's pretty evident. It's pretty clear to me. I don't need any more deliberation that Akainu is number one. Uh, let's just go over a couple things. He heals, incinerate takes 32% of your health. Uh, once you get hit once, that's great. Um, he's an EX. Three free dodges. You can all you can do a perfect dodge, by the way. You have to perfect dodge his perfect dodge, right? That's cool. 70%. If you're above 70% of health, he increases your dodge cooldown. Pog. And he already has the OP ass after KOing an enemy, reduce skill one by thirty percent and HP by fifteen. That's great. Up to ten, up to fifty percent plus attack. You fucking bitch. Um, that's cool. But yeah, uh, I don't really need to go over this unit, even though he just came out. I think we all are familiar with the Kainu to know that he is number one. Um, now, something that people are not going to agree with, and I know people aren't going to agree with, but from my experience, from my experience, I feel as though Rat Usopp, Rat Usopp, is the second best unit in the game. And I know people are going to be like, oh, Akainu does this, Akainu did that, to Usopp is kind of dead now. But, I, I, here's how I go about it. I go by who I'm going to die by the quickest, pretty much. And Roger is up there. He's going to be up the, on the list, obviously. But I feel as though Usopp has more value as a as a unit. Runner does a lot of damage. Two long-range skills. Rat. Cap treasure. All that other stuff. 
I, I feel as though Rai Usopp is the second best unit in the game. And like I said, I might have biases because you see how my top ranked up units. I like me some runners. I do. You can see pretty much like in my, in my top right there, you can see like four runners already. But yeah, we already know what we already know what God Usopp does. Like I said, two long range skills is pretty cancer. Uh, the goop, 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 dodge back. Goop, goop. Okay, uh, we're back. I had to fix that up a little bit. My phone fell. That's that's awesome. But like I was going with Rat Usopp. Uh, I feel as though Rat Usopp is the second best unit in the game. He has a lot of damage, two long range skills, double life. A kind of kind of nerfs that. That's why he's not first. He's second. But yeah, um, uh, Rat versus uh, Roger. The Rat wins. Same with the second. I mean the third best care this this video is awful this video is bad the third best unit in the game I want to get Shima Kid yes Rogers not even third owning a Shima Kid is the second I mean the third best unit in the game red red dominated meta he's a defender damage reduction uh, he has the broken uh, a skill where he heals low cooldown those around him all that other stuff big knockback on the punch skill short cooldown as well I don't really need to explain more about him we already know what kid does he's big he's big okay that's all that needs to be said about him now finally everybody's been waiting for it Roger 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 this guy is nuts, still. Like I said, though, um, if you go down the list, Usopp's beating Roger, Kid's beating Roger, and it takes more, it actually takes more work for Roger to kill Usopp or Kid than you think. So, to me, one on ones, Roger's getting folded by the top three, okay? He is getting folded. Folded, okay? I think that's explained enough. I was number four. Okay, number five now. This is like either way to me. Number five and number six. I really have no qualms about who you guys want to put first or second. I'm going with Onigashima uh, Law. Um, when I was making this list, I was thinking, let's just spoil number six. Number six is Odin. Um, I was like, Odin could be number six. But I feel like Law just kind of like, like just goes through people. Like no, no effort, no work. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't take a lot to kill people with Law. He has anti heal, fast skill, long range skill. He has the room where you boom, 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 do a whole bunch of bullshit. Like it's it's not a big deal to have kid. I mean Law over uh, Odin, Odin to me. But yeah. Law is number five. That's my top five right there. Kainu, Usopp, Kid, Roger, Law. Number six. You guys know, I already said it. It's Odin. Odin, to me, is a pretty much almost, almost a solid built, almost a solidly built runner, right? The only thing he's missing to me to make him put over the top is like a long range skill like he has long range skills one's invincible the other one is the what's it called this one obviously but he just needs like something just a tiny like a little bit more broken like we all say he's almost the well balanced almost the most well balanced EX when he came out people were like Okay, he's broken, but he's not like he's not crazy. You know what I mean? And it's weird. The when I'm watching a kind of videos, people are like, I kind of, I kind of, that he's okay. He is broken, but he's okay. I feel like they're talking about him like, like he's Odin, but Odin's Odin to me. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of weird. But yeah, number six, Odin. Number seven, 
Luffy. I mean, not Luffy. Uh, Oni Law. I mean, Oni Luffy. What am I saying, dude? Oni Luffy is number seven. The reason being, he's a great uh, unit. High attack. He's a def I mean, high de uh, high defense. He's a defender. Uh, defenders are kind of broken. Defender damage reduction is more broken than any skill in the game to me. Um, so that's the reason he's up there. He's a defender. But the only reason he's down is because Rio is kind of bad. It only counters Roger or people that gain attack. But other than that, it's kind of trash. And the only thing he really has is skill too. So that's the reason he's here. He's at seven, still top ten. So it's not too crazy, but still, he's not bad. He's not bad. Uh, before I started the video, I was like, I was thinking, number two through number six really can be interchanged any way you want it. It's not that big a deal to who you have over who. That's just my like composition of who I think is over who. Um, but once you get out of number six to seven, Oni Law, there's a, like a there's like a little bit of a leap. Um, to how, like, who's up there, you know what I mean? Like, the only law is not better than all the people I just named, okay? Now, what is it, eight? Now, number eight, I don't have this character. Number eight to me is Luffy. Reason being, two long range skills, one can get defenders out of treasure, Red Hawk, boom. Get a flame. The other, anti heal. Anti heal is very useful. Anti heal is big, big. You have anti heal, you're kind of broken, which he is. Um, really, the best when when we were like wanting a new ex, he was the best counter to Blackbeard at the time, um, and it worked out. He's still good. Only blue unit in this top ten. Yes, Frankie's not in this top 10 just because people overrate him now that he's can kind of counter a Kainu. That was a tongue twister. He's not, uh, Frankie's not here, bro. Frankie is not here, bro. He's not, bro. He's not. He was, he never was. He never is. He's never going to be. He's a good unit, but he's not there, bro. Okay? Like I said, number eight was Luffy. Now, where are you? Where are you? He's up here. Number nine, Dressers of Zoro. Just got this guy level 80. He's nice. He's decent. I need to get him up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, he's basically like Red Sabo, but on crack a little bit. You put on the what? The Seven Warlords of the Sea. He's kind of broken. Um, hockey. Get a crit metal set. He heals all that other stuff. Um, he doesn't get. Uh, affected by what the trade effects when he has color of arms yeah no if I stun but he has the what the Sabo trait thing it's probably in his skill I'm not gonna read it but yeah he counters a lot of people um, does a lot of damage long range kind of broken he has the Dyson that guy where he really can't be knocked out of it. I've never seen anybody knock this dude out of Dyson Sikai, bro. Like, it's just so annoying. It's actually annoying. But, yeah. He's number nine. Now, this is where... This, if I put if I put Frankie on the list, this is where he would go. He's not above anybody on this list. But he's not going to be here. So, that sucks. Uh, last one, Blackbeard. Um, Blackbeard's still solidly built. He's still a great unit. Uh, in terms of uh, how he was built, like he's still broken, still. But I don't like him. But still, why am I saying still so much? What am I doing? Blackbeard's number ten. He's red. The meta really doesn't mess him up a lot. Um, we need a really good blue unit, and that's why I predict the third anniversary EX is going to be EX Luffy. It's probably going to be blue. Probably going to be really good. Probably going to destroy a Kainu. Hopefully, we'll see. But, yeah. I think that's it. I, I wanted to make a quick video because I, I rambled too much. A lot of shit went wrong, but it's okay. We'll see how that goes. But, that was my top ten. Tell me what you guys think. I know people are going to disagree with the Roger placement, but that's what I honestly feel like. Playing Roger, knowing how he plays, knowing how other characters are, being an SS, almost close to top. I literally, 
bro, I was I was in what two hundred thousand party power teams. I mean, not team party power, but two hundred thousand total party power thing. In in those games, top of league, bro. Seeing how uh, people work, seeing how units work, um, and that's how I honestly feel. So I'll go over it one more time. Akainu, number one. Even though he's new, he's still OP. Usopp, double life, long range, rat, runner, cap treasure. Um, number three, kid, defender, damage reduction, long, uh, knockback, healing, all that broken. Who else? Number four, Roger, Roger's Roger. We don't need to talk about him. Number five, Law, Law kind of cuts through people with a butter knife. Odin, Odin's Odin. He caps. He's a very solidly built runner. Could be a little bit better, but he doesn't need to be. Um, well, Onigashima Luffy only has skill two, but other than that, he is a good defender. It is what it is. Who else? Onigashima. Luffy, Luffy, double long range, anti heal, blue, counters the red meta. Uh, Dressrosa Zoro, long range. Kind of like a red Sabo on crack. And Blackbeard. Blackbeard is still Blackbeard. We don't know how Blackbeard works. We have all been through it, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. It was kind of fast, but it is what it is. Well, I'm going to stream soon. I don't know when. I wanted to stream later today, but it's probably going to be tomorrow. Later tomorrow. We'll see. Probably going to be like 7.30 p.m. EST. So, we'll see. That's going to do it, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry for the shit in the video happening. It was out of my control. But it is what it is. Like I said, that's my top 10. It could be switched around. Do all that other stuff. Uh, that's your out. Bye.